Okay, so uh, we're gonna be testing Crow out. Uh, first of all, I'll just go into the regular raid and my plan is to test his damage against, uh, well not against, but compared to Nadin Ha. So first of all, I will have a Crow on a rage set and then I'll put Nadin Ha on the same rage set after that. But I think Nadin Ha is currently on a rage set. So we'll test her damage first. We're looking for the hits. Okay, so her hits are doing 171k times 3. So that's like, what, a, a bit over half a million per skill. We'll do one more run. And yeah, total damage, 1.6 mil. And after that, I'll put a Crow on the same set. I'm testing it out, first of all, on Rage. See how he performs. And then I'll see maybe he's better on Swift to just activate uh, that Defense Break, that Poison, uh, that... What else is there? Uh, damage taken up, right? Uh, from his first skill. Okay, Nadin has damage. Uh, 1.69k it looks like. So yeah, around, around half a million per skill usage. It looks like. And now we'll pop uh, her runes on Crow. Basically we'll switch him around. Because I think right now Crow was on a swift set. And we'll give him the age runes. And... For Nadin Ha, I mean, she's not really good on Swift. I'm just putting whatever as long as I can test Crow's damage, it should be fine. Okay, so we'll dodge these babies. And, uh, okay, Bob, 288k. Ah, uh, I missed that one. 395k. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. And keep in mind, Nadin Ha is more uh, upgraded than him. So, Nadin Ha has, first of all, Awakening level 15. Our crow is only on 14 currently. Nadin Ha also has level 5 book, I believe. And crow only has like level 1 or 2. So, a bit more stats there. And of course, I mean, Crow is a nat 4, so his base stats will be lower. However, I believe his multiplier is a bit higher. Here, let's see. Uh, 284k, but not too many debuffs. 364k, okay, okay. So yeah, so far, not doing too bad. I'm really liking the performance. I don't know if he could replace Nadim Ha based on the damage, though. Like, he's way more useful uh, ability-wise. Because uh, his abilities, first of all, uh, that first charged ability, it does damage taken up. And if you don't use Helia or a Wind Orbia, that's pretty hard to get. Then uh, there is the, what's it called, Defense Break and Poison on that first skill. Not first skill, uh, basic attack. Because as you can see, in our team, uh, no one really has Poison. Orbia could bring it, but then you would require Dark Orbia, and uh, with Dark Orbia you do not have any damage taken up, so he's sort of useful there. I would say mm, Crow is more like of a debuffer, like a secondary non-soul link slot debuffer, than uh, a main damage dealer, I guess, just because of the net 4 stats. Like, if he was nat 5, I would say he would be maybe even better than Nanin Ha, but right now, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the problem with that is it's very hard to use him as a souling, because if you do, you're pretty much spamming that second skill for damage, right? And if you're spamming that, you're not really letting him use the first charge skill, which actually gives damage taken up, as I feel like that is useful as well. Okay, not bad. I don't know, the damage looking decent. But still a bit worse than uh, Nadin Ha was. Just waiting for the shield to drop. 300k hit, not bad. Yeah, I don't know. Um, He seems okay. 
Like, don't get me wrong, he's a good unit. I don't think he will be a rage unit, though. Unless you build that rage with, like, 200 plus speed and use something like Crowa. Sure. But then, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm also gonna bring him to some solo dungeons. So this is the Wind Arachne Expedition. This is not level 4, this is like the hard mode uh, that's currently only available on NA. And yeah, we'll see how it goes on order. Basically, I currently have Harpy skilled to Soul Link skill 1. So she can keep that defense break very high. And yeah, it looks like Crow is getting some poisons off. The problem is when he switches targets, that's... Wait, did he one-shot all that HP? I didn't know this. Okay. 27 seconds. And another one. So yeah, uh, he does damage. Then damage taken up setup. Poison. I don't know if he's doing the defense break like at all because i do have level 10 defense break from the harpy but yeah um hmm. not bad not bad and 23 seconds nice okay you know what let me test him out in third glance as well so i'm going to hard mode level 2 I mean, I can quick battle it with full fire team, but uh, might as well just test it out. For example, if you are not able to get like 700k power on it, so you will still need to manually uh, do it. So yeah, we're gonna Soling Bastet. Uh, she's my only sustain, but it should be enough. And the good thing about Crow here is, first of all, his basic attack is poison. Like it gives poison with a small chance and... You do need a damage over time effect to remove the uh, lizard's, uh, what's it called, uh, damage taken down. That's his passive. So with the Sarian basic attacks and Crow's basic attacks, I think that should be more than enough damage over time effects. And not even talking about Cleave. He has two on his skills as well. And then yeah, damage wise, uh, he's getting out damage by the Sarian quite badly but also the Sidon is fire element so he deals a little bit extra damage to wind targets and yeah the crow died there in the final what i noticed about crow uh compared to something like naninha or argon right uh, he is an assassin type and assassin types attack from melee first of all and second of all they're pretty bad at dodging like i think you may notice here if he does or not uh but basically, whenever an attack hits, he will go out of the range, but before that attack hit, he'll go back in the range and get hit. And I've seen that happen quite a few times, and uh, that's really worrying about me. Like, look at that, you see? He was out of range, but now nah, he just goes in. He just goes in for whatever reason. Let me see if he can get targeted again. Oh, there you go, he dodges, and then he goes in, you see? Uh, like, that's... I don't know if that's a general AI problem, or that's just an assassin problem, but... I've never seen that happen with the Sarian or not in Haas, so... If it's an assassin problem, I think that's a bit worrying, because, uh, well, Crow will be squishy, and uh, if he just dies like that, while other damage dealers can just dash out damage from uh, the back. It's a bit scary. And also his melee range, so he's more prone to getting hit by attacks in general. So yeah, that's uh, like as a unit, he's super cool, but that's the downsides that I see to Crow. Similar to like Helia, he's just a melee type, so well, he dodged this at least, so that's nice. And he dodges, and then he just goes in. Like, I don't know. That's so weird. But yeah, the time, 46 seconds. Not bad overall, really. Okay, so what I did now is I gave 
uh, a bit more attack speed. I switch him from the Rage set to a Swift set. And the Sarion got uh, away from Rage uh, to Swift. No, wait, no, the other way around. The Crow is on Swift and the Sarion is on the main Rage set. And basically now I'll try to play not as much into Crow's damage, but more utility. So getting that defense break, poison stacked. Uh, for more damage, poison is of course a unique debuff. So oh, actually, I'd... well, yeah, only the crow is a unit that stacks with debuffs. But yeah, I'm not seeing any poisons. Uh, defense break. Uh, that was from Tessarian. Yeah, I'm looking at debuffs mostly. Oh, there's he broke the defense break once. He broke the poison. He broke another defense break. Another defense break. Ooh. And yeah, I really think you should play him more as a utility unit, like a secondary damage dealer that is more for debuff. So, like, I would play Tassarion with Nadian Ha. Uh, Crow would be something I play with Nadian Ha rather than over her. So, Nadian Ha on the main damage set and uh, Crow on something like a Swift set, so he can basically. Proc that defense break and poison on the first ability or the basic attack. Proc that damage taken up on the first ability and occasionally he can do damage with his uh, second ability. And yeah, he's dead again. Didn't dodge abilities. So yeah, overall, cool unit. Uh, definitely not a replacement to your main damage dealer in my opinion. The good thing about him is he is neutral, so he will work in pretty much all dungeons compared to something like the Sarion just wouldn't work in a water dungeon, Narin Ha wouldn't work in a wind one, or Argen wouldn't work in the fire one, so he has a bit more utility there. But overall, I think he is just a utility unit, sort of a setup, increase your damage and do a little bit of extra damage. Definitely not your main damage dealer. Uh, his stats are also a bit of an issue for that. Like his stats will simply be way lower than Nanin Ha or Argen. But yeah, pretty fun unit, pretty fun unit. I'm happy I got him because uh, he's already helping me out a bit. I'm trying to transition away from using the Siren as much in PvE and replacing Crow with him because usually we have a Tessarian and as long as we have at least like level 1 or 2 burn, uh, that's enough for that small crit damage boost. And yeah, uh, that was pretty fun. Crow is doing his job, uh, not as well maybe as I thought, but he works. <laughs> and yeah, 